The subject of this video is going to be the importance of your astral temple. Establishing the temple to bring forward spirits when you're wanting to work with them, if you don't want to bring them into your immediate environment, if you're someone who doesn't want to actually evoke these spirits into your physical realm, then you can bring them in your astral realm and work with them there if you had established a temple. Now, bringing forward a temple requires some visual work and the ability to be able to visualize quite well. You're also going to want to move yourself into an altered state, which is known as gnosis. So you can go into trance and have the ability to really focus on what it is that you are desiring your temple to look like. Now, for myself, I have a fountain that I utilize for all of the spirits to come through. I built my temple. It's a golden temple. I have white steps that I walk up. On the outside, I don't have any setting because I don't care for the setting outside. It's just a blank white space. But I focused all on my temple. I, I went into detail. I engraved specific things that are significant to my well-being and myself onto the walls, onto my pillars. I have a golden fountain that I use to bring forward all of the spirits out of my water in which I meditate on quite often, okay? You can put statues and remnants of, you know, your experiences with spirits or with your deities, with your guardian angels. This is a sacred space that you can bring anyone that you so wish to, to communicate. And it's also a way that you can get more results visually from yourself and also from the spirits that you're working with. This is not important because if you want to, you know, continue doing things in the physical, that's fine. But if you're someone who is a visual and you want to really create something, you want to express your creativity, you can go ahead and you can act on this and create your own astral temple. You also can bring forward the consciousness of individuals who are you, who you work with, you know, your friends, close relatives, if they're adept in astral travel and able to move their consciousness into, you know, visiting you. Because in my, um, in my previous work, in the beginning, from when I first started out with all of this stuff, um, when I first started out with astral traveling, which is when I was about sixteen. Um, I was astral traveling with people who were students of mine, um, who, when I had went to sleep, I'd left a remnants and a, an ongoing, you know, resin of myself astrally an imprint so that they can come meet me at a specific spot when we planned it and they would come, they would have their experience with me. And then we would, they would wake up the next day and record everything that they had experienced from me and in fact, have actual real knowledge that I had given to them. This even gotten to the point where there were people who were in India that would come to me, people who were in all kinds of other countries that would come to me um, for uh, the, the meeting to, to actually introduce themselves because they saw me as their God or they saw me as an apparition of Anubis, or they saw me as an apparition of something else, but my consciousness was directly tied to it because I was working with those spirits at the time. Now, this is what happens when you're astral traveling. You become linked to anybody else that is out there. You become linked to any spirits that you so wish to bring forward. It can really, really brighten up and provide you with a lot more <clears throat> of a safety net, but also a, a sense of accomplishment for seeing these, um, you know, these visual journeys. Thank you guys for watching. Until my next video.